Okay, so today you're going to be doing adding with unlike denominators, which is pretty much what you've been doing. So we're going to start with a problem like 1 12th plus 5 sixth. So obviously your denominators are different, so you can't just add them like we can do when they're the same. So you're going to list your multiples. So you have 12, and you have 6. So you would do 12, 24, 36, and then you would do 6, 12, 18, 24, and you find the one that's the smallest that is the same, and if you look, they both have 12, so that needs to be your new denominator. So you're going to do 1 12th is equal to something with 12, and then same thing, 5 sixths is equal to something with 12 as the denominator. And then, just like you've been doing, 12 times what gets you to 12, which is 1, so you do the same thing to the top, so that would be 1 12th. And then 6 times what gets you 12, which would be 2. And then you have to multiply the top by 2 also. So 5 times 2 would be 10. So really, when you do this problem, you've now changed it. Instead of 1 12 plus 5, 6, you've changed it to be 1 12 plus 10 12. And then once you've added those together, that gets you 11 12. Because now that the denominators are the same, you just add the numerator together and the denominator doesn't change. Okay, so here's another problem. So we have 1 12th, that's a plus sign, plus 1 third. So you would be looking at your denominators again that are different. Um, so you would have 12 and 3. You'd list your multiples. 12, 24, 36. Same thing with 3, 3, 6. 9, 12, 15, the one that they have that's the same, that's the smallest, would be 12. So then I would set up my fractions again. I have 1 12th equals something over 12, and then 1 third equals something over 12. So just like in the last one, 1 12th, you're just multiplying by 1, would stay 1 12th. And then for 1 third, this time I'm multiplying by 4 from 3 to get to 12. And same thing to the top, should be 4 twelfths. So now, I used to have 1 twelfth plus 1 third, but I know 1 third is the same as 4 twelfths, and I can add those together because the denominator is the same. So I would do 1 twelfth plus 4 twelfths. It's going to equal, the denominator will say 12 because it's the same. And then 1 plus 4 is simple, which is 5, so my answer would be 5 twelfths. Okay, one more example for you. If I have something like 1 twelfth and 1 eighth, again, denominators are different, but I still want to add them together, so I need to change my fractions so they have the same denominator. So I have 12, I have 8, and I'm going to list my multiples of 12. I do 12, 24, 36, and then for 8, I would do 8. 16, 24, 32, and then when I look, the smallest one they have in common this time is 24. So now I have to change both fractions, which you've practiced, but the last two you only had to change one. So I have 1 12th equals, oops, ignore that. I have 1 12th equals something over 24, and then I also have 1 8th going to be equal to something over 24. So from 12 to 24, I'm just multiplying by 2. Same with 1. So I have 2 24. And then for 8, I have to multiply by 3. So I have to multiply by 3 in the top. So then I can now add these. So I'm doing 2 24 plus 3 24. And that'll give me 24 as a denominator. And then 3 plus 2 is 5. So 524 would be my final answer.